Copyright Disclaimer Under Title 17 U.S.C. Section 107, allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. For fair use is permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational, or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. Hi, right, what's going on? This is Huggy Pacino. I don't know if I'm gonna put this on YouTube, but if you see it on YouTube, then yeah, here it is. So, the movie Gutter. This movie's about him, the guy in front of you right here with the, the braids, his name is Gutter, okay? This individual was born by a prostitute of a mother. His mother was a prostitute. Uh, the guy that was pimping or whatnot, he found, the, found out she had gay birth. For some strange reason, he's uh, she, he goes picks her up at the hospital. She just gave birth to this baby. He's literally beating the girl. Like, why you ain't tell me you was pregnant? Like, I don't know how you have a whore in your stable that you don't know that's pregnant for nine months. But I digress. So this chick is like, now she wants to get rid of the baby because she has to continue to work for him and make his money. The pimp is threatening to kill the baby and her and etc. and whatever. And uh, so she puts the baby in the gutter, all right? She leaves, all right? The girl that picks the baby up was just so happy by cocaine, all right? She notices the girl, but did say she knows the girl. In the movie, she never even looked her way to notice the girl at all. But for some strange reason, she gets the boy. She picks him up, takes him to her apartment. Another friend of hers, she already has a daughter that's already uh, a baby or whatnot. She's like, what you gonna do with that? You got another baby? We got another baby, woo woo. So the whole time they playing around, they acting silly. They also are snorting cocaine. Yes, I did not make this up. They're snorting cocaine while there's a newborn baby in the house. They don't say anything. They don't call the hospital. They do nothing. They come up with money. Uh, the girl just so happy to have wicks so she could buy food and milk and such and such. She said, mentioned some name can steal some pampers. I'm not making any of this shit up. I just want y'all to know I'm not making any of this shit up. And I don't really care if I'm spoiling it because this movie is horrible. And I haven't even got all the way through it, but I just have to give you the premise because the premise is hilarious. How stupid it is. That's how hilarious it is. Anyway, so Gutter eventually grows up. Uh, as an infant, he, go, he now uh, becomes uh, 10 years old later on, right? No, 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 let me rewind. The day of, uh, the uncle, the so-called, I guess the brother, comes there and uh, he's like, oh, we, let me see my nephew, woo, 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 right? So he's like, oh my God, like, how you, uh, then she's like, well, we need some money. How are we gonna take care of the baby? Now, keep in mind, there's already a bitch there with a baby asking questions about how she gonna take care of the baby that they just got, that they can't afford to take care of, and somehow they got money to spot cocaine, but not buy pampers. I didn't make this up, but I'ma keep saying that just so y'all know I'm not making this shit up. But anyway, so much to unpack. But anywho, so 10 years later, because eventually they did a robbery, they got away, or oh, whatever, whatever, whatever. Then they get away. So what happens is 10 years later, uh, they partying, boo boo. Uh, the, the other girl that had the daughter, she's also, he's like basically an in-home sister. But keep in mind, this girl is, you know, the other friend got gutter from the gutter and took him home, right? So, there, him and the girl, the, the sister, the in-home sister is talking to him like, we need some food and we haven't ate and, you know, your mom don't do nothing to you because you, 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 yeah, he was like, yeah, because I do everything she say so she don't have to discipline me. So she was like, well, she told me not to leave the room because they party and this, that, and the third. You know, typical, you know, black parenting, black kid shit. You know what I'm saying? If you grew up in the hood, if you grew around, around, you know, black people, you know, when, they, when the grown folks is party, you don't come out the room. Anyway, so uh, Gutter goes down there to steal some food or whatever. Somehow he knew it was some wings in the kitchen in a plastic bag. Don't, I didn't make this up either. He went to go get the plastic bag. And for some strange reason, as they're partying, there's a white guy. Some, some For some strange reason, they have a habit of having white guys in the movie. And I'm gonna get to the, my point of making this video at this scene right here. So, white guys at the party, 
Random little white guy. You could tell he's like the only white guy in the entire party. There's only maybe five, six, seven people in the house, right? They doing their thing. The girl, the mother of gutter, the, the one that found him in the gutter, is literally getting high. She's passing out, blah, 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 acting a fool, blah, 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 on the dance floor, you know, twerking and dancing with the white boy, right? And apparently she wised up as everybody uh, was, you know, acting, you know, as they were about to, you know, move out the way. She grabs a gun and say, he tried to rape me. He, he drugged me and now he's trying to have sex with me. For some strange reason, you would just get drugged and high. You were so out of your mind that you weren't focused. All of a sudden, you realize the man was trying to rape you. Now you focus enough to grab the gun. Now you grab the gun, you point the gun at the white boy. Now you shake it with the gun. This is all done in script. I can't make this up. I don't want to play the movie. I don't want no copyright infringement. However, this is what happened. She's grabbing the gun, pointing at the white boy. And for some strange reason, uh, everybody's leaving at the party. So the friend that had the other daughter was in the room, the brother's in the room, and now Gutter's mom is in the room, the one that found him in the gutter. She's pointing the gun at the white boy. The brother's like, put the gun down. And then she said something stupid like, I would shoot you in your heart, but you, that will seem like it's romantic. And I want to shoot you in your face and then you'll be too ugly. And if you survive, wouldn't nobody want to see you. Like it was some dumb ass, like I wrote this script, I'm gonna find out in a minute. So fast forward, of course they didn't beat the, you know, he shoot the white boy. So eventually, she wanted to shoot him in his dick. And then eventually, uh, the brother got the gun out of his hand. It's like a long, like five minutes scene. Like, sometimes hood movies just too much. They should just edit shit down, but that's another story. So instead, she said, you know, he gets the gun from the hand. Now the white boy like talking shit because he want to go home to his family or whatever. They wouldn't let him out. So they like, how much money you got? So then she would like, then he was like, oh shit, bitch, you set me up. Which lets you be lets it be known that somehow Gutter's mom finds a white boy, brought him to the party, pretending to be hot. Now it's all a setup to the begin with that he's basically was trying to have sex with her in general because typically if the girl is doing a thing or whatever, we well, want to take her out the house. You know, he wants you don't want to have sex with. Her. So now the whole act is you try to rape me. Now the brother, you know, eventually fast forward. Now they want to get some money out of him. She's like, bitch, fucked up. So he pushes the mom. The brother falls over. Next thing you know, Gutter, him, as 10 years old, comes out with the bat and grabs it and hits the fucking man and kills the white boy. So she he kills the white boy. <laughs> I'm trying not to be too long with it. So he kills the white boy. For some strange reason, they're like, oh my God. And not only did he hit the white boy once, he kept hitting him in the head with the white with the fucking bat. Like for some strange reason, how does a ten year old develop this uh, uh, this thrill to kill? Like, like come on, like this is the first time he, we've ever seen this boy be violent at all. However, fast forward. So the brother was like, no, 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 we can't call the police. But he was like, fuck it, call the police. I'll take the rap, and we'll say the police tell the police that he, you know, white boy tried to rape you, and I attacked him. I do five years tops. Uh, I could do that shit in my sleep. I'm like, bro, you didn't think about a defense like, yo, the, the man tried to rape her and you hit him in the head with the bat. And he died, like self-defense, right? So he already thinking five years. So boom, boy, the brother goes to, goes to jail for five years. And uh, you know, 10 years later, <laughs> Gutter is 20. And here we are. Now Gutter <laughs> is in this house with his mama, the same lady that, uh was claiming to be, you know, the one that found him. He, he it starts off at he's 20 years old. He's like, mom ain't no fool now. Mama, what a fool And He goes upstairs, opens the door. His mama get fucked in the room by a guy that worked. I guess he was a utility guy or handyman or maintenance guy or whatever. He I'm talking about bone in front of the back. What I tell you about coming to my room? And he was like, damn, man, get you. I'm talking about, and this is how dumb it was. Gunner, and even though he's grown, Gunner is trying to push the man off his mama from getting fucked in the bed. He like, little nigga, move. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to finish before I get back to work. <laughs> I am not making this shit up. Anyway, so fast forward, he goes downstairs. His sister grown up now, just like him. Now keep in mind, the sister <laughs> is like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I got some food for you. You know, I look out for you. Blah 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 blah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So he should go outside. His, his sister got some friends in his drop top. All these motherfuckers pretty as hell. They got 
They got little tight tops on. They got their little tight pants. They got their good weave in. They looking good. You know what I'm saying? They outside now. So Gutter's outside eating his friend or whatever. Ooh, ooh. Next thing you know, this white boy pulls pops up, pops up, talking to the sister like, "Yeah, you did this, that, and the third, and you a hoe." And blah blah blah. And I'm like, "Wait a minute, this the white boy?" So I'm like, "Okay." And then the white boy didn't look like just any white boy. He looked like a little pale faced little nerdy looking John B looking dude without the glasses. But anyway, so Gutter goes in the house. You know what I'm saying? Now, keep in mind, while this is going on, the maintenance guy get, got through hitting his mama. He, he's coming out the, the outdoor. He's zipping up his pants. He gone to the side. While they arguing, he got out the way. White boy comes up. Then the fight starts happening, right? So Gutter goes in the house, gets a bat, come outside, pops the white boy, boom. His friend jumping on the guy. This time, they didn't kill this particular boy. They just beat him up real bad. While this all this is going on, he goes, uh, hold on, let me get it right. Before he went and got the bat, he goes upstairs and knocks on the door because the maintenance guy's gone. He's going to the room. He opens the door. His mom now has a bra on. It's some motherfucking, uh, I think she had uh, something covering up herself, like a onesie, but it wasn't zipped all the way up. So he walks in. What did I tell you about walking in? He was like, I'm oh, sorry, mom. Uh, where the bed at? Uh, he was like, mom, you look pretty, which was kind of odd. Like, why you, your mom is half naked. You know what I'm saying? She got a onesie on, barely covering up her panties. Barely coming up a bra, like she got a bra on. You know what I'm saying? She in the mirror, like putting makeup on. Like, yo, you just got to fuck it. How you put makeup on and got your clothes on like this? And the guy literally just left seconds ago, but that's another story. So he gets the bad boom, comes out, bang, hit the boy. Now it's fighting suits. Then next thing you know, the uh, mom comes out behind him, realize he said, or oh, the bad head, I'm finna go outside about maybe 10 seconds later. She's like, oh my God, it's, I got it, don't do that. Ooh, go out there. She was too late to stop him. So then the fight happens, boom. The sister and, and the other sister and the mom had just had an argument. So in the process of all of this shit, him and the mom just got to arguing. She damn near about to have a stroke because she dying after just having an argument, saying that she can't stand her, do her daughter because she looked like the dad that she never met. But she can't stand looking at her because it reminds her of her dad. Some situations that we all are familiar with when it comes to black families. You know, women can't stand the fucking daughters of the son because they look, remind them of the father that they ain't. But that's another story. So, I'm not making this up, by the way. Anyway, so... Here we are, funeral. I'ma try to fast forward without playing it. Here goes that scene. This is the sister, right? I'ma see if I can play a little bit. Here's the sister. There goes the fucking new white boy that she's already dating. Keep in mind, the white boy they just beat up that was calling her a hoe, they just beat him up the day her mom died. There's a new white boy right there and the funeral was probably at, at best a, a week later. You got another white boy. So peep this out. I'm gonna play this shit. Fuck it. Let's go. You wanna talk to you for a minute? So he wants to talk to her for a minute. After he had just told his mom, you know, let me talk to, you know, I think her name was Fairy or Fairy or some shit like that. So he looked, she looked back like, oh my good, like, like, Brad, is it okay? So peep out what he do. You must be gutter. Nedger James. <laughs> she tells me you two have been friends for the diaper days. Been friends with the diaper days. Now, now check this out. Her friends is to her right. That's the boyfriend that she just met somehow. A new boyfriend out the blue with her mom having a funeral. So she like what you need because her boyfriend, her Prince Charming, the white boy is right there. How dare you uh, basically just like ask me, can we talk? He like, what you need? Like, yo, this is a mom's funeral. The least she could do is be like, yo, this is the brother I grew up with. I've been knowing this motherfucker for 20 years. Like we, as kids, right? You. So he walking off. Now watch what her friends say right behind her to her right. You can do it all against the and shit with the White black girl be like, oh my God, no, you not finna just leave Brad. Brad just did all this consulting you, consoling, whatever the fuck the word is. You know what I'm saying? And the other friend, look what the other friend do. <laughs> Who the fuck is the white girl? <laughs> Who is that his is that his sister or something? So you mean to tell me this dude just met her somehow is the girl is the boyfriend, the Brad. Right? 
at a funeral because you don't bring somebody to your funeral unless you at least been fucking them for a few weeks. I mean, I think so. That, that would make sense, right? But I just thought this is a, this in the movie's called Gutter. Uh, find it somewhere. I don't know where you need to find it, but find this shit. I'm out. <laughs> Didn't make none of this shit up. I promise you. Thank you for watching. Make sure you hit the like button and make sure you subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification bell to receive all notifications from Huggy Pacino. In the description box, you can find all 10 channels. HP Media 1 and 2 are the two new channels. You can also subscribe to my dog Julio and Huggy Pacino 1 through 6. And there's also a Huggy Pacino Effect throwback channel. And you can also contact me via email and phone. And if you would love to donate to the channel, here's where you could donate. Cash App and PayPal. The link's on the screen. Donations. 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 Gifts. Gifts.